It's a good morning from Portugal. Good morning. And we're off exploring. Good morning. We're in Evora in Portugal. We arrived yesterday evening and we're in the town square and we've just ordered banana cake and coffee and we're ready for the next stage of our adventure. Tour of Evora starts in the first century AD and behind me is the Temple of Diana, the Huntress. It's one of the best preserved Colosseums in the country and it did have 14 granite columns. the side of the Temple of Diana are the Gardens of Diana and as we go around you get to see probably what is the best view from the top of the hill in Evora. Jumping forward almost a thousand years now to the Cathedral of Evora. It was uh, started to be built in the 12th century and wasn't finished until the 18th century and it's built on the highest point of the town. very steep spiral staircase we're on the roof of Ivora Cathedral with some fantastic views views from the top of the cathedral roof are just stunning. A complete 360 panoramic view of Evora and the uh, surrounding countryside. There's just one thing I can't ever imagine in the UK you've been able to stand on the roof of a cathedral without a gazillion wires or safety barriers stopping you falling off the end. So yeah, a little bit of care is needed, but boy, what a view.
What's your impressions about Evora then, Scott? I think I ought to say something profound, really. It's quite unique and very special. Mm. I would say that it's one of them places that's very difficult to film and explain verbally. You've sort of got to feel it. Yes. It's yeah. got something here that you don't experience everywhere you go. Mm. And we've had a good place on this trip. Yeah, we have. have. Yeah. But this yeah. is an exceptional place yeah, it's and beautiful. it's a must visit. Place. Yeah, it is, definitely. Put it on the list of places to visit. Yeah. Tick. This unusual place is called the Chapel of Bones and it's part of the Royal Church of St Francis and was constructed by Franciscan monks in the 16th century. The story behind this collection of bones is that 43 cemeteries in and around Evora were condensed into one place to give access to valuable land. Not wanting to condemn the souls of the people buried there, the monks decided to build the chapel and relocate the bones. However, at the time, there was a concern about the way people were living their lives and society's values. So the monks decided to put the bones on display and thought this would be um, a sign for everybody and put a sign up that said, we bones are here waiting for yours. And it was meant to focus people's uh, values and uh, uh, promote a better standard of living morally. I think pops. All right, baby. Okay. <laughs> I think we've just excited. very excited. I think we've decided that our dog is a dog of two halves. The front end and the back end don't understand each other <laughs> and don't necessarily follow. It's a bit like the island of Cyprus. The front half is Cypriot and the back end is Turkish and they don't communicate. We'll come to that conclusion. Not sure we can adequ adequately convey how nice this place is, but there are peacocks wa walking around all over the place, really, and uh, pieces of the ancient history and fabric of the city uh, just loom up. And I'll show you. It's obviously, a piece of the old city wall. Case rising up there. Sadly, it doesn't go very far, but uh, still gives you an indication of the history that's available here. Kids, I think they are. Aren't they? they are, aren't they? Look at those. Wow. Yeah. Where are you looking? Oh yeah. There's two. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, one down here, look. Which brings the dog too close. I shouldn't bring the dog too close.
there must be 30 peacocks walking around if they're not walking in front of you they're hiding in the doorways and window ledges I think I've ever been close to this uh, amount of peacocks before well, tell us what you think about Cafe Humberto I think it's fantastic I don't think you could get a setting much better than this in the local plaza the sun shining a glass of the local red wine which I have to say tastes really very very nice but this is the wine area of Portugal that we're in um, very good value meal and I think I dread to think if it had been in somewhere like Rome or uh, Florence or another capital city what we'd have paid for this meal but this has been very good value and a great place to be well we hope you've enjoyed our trip of Evora as much as we have it's been fantastic today it's listed on uh, Portugal's top 10 things to see mm. and we can see why yeah. it's absolutely outstanding we've had a wonderful time uh, culturally spiritually yeah. uh, in every way you can think of uh, it's been really tremendous but it's time to push on tomorrow we go somewhere else so there you go life moves pretty fast Martin out Helen out <laughs>